What's going on YouTube? It's United Gamer 101 here and welcome back to some more Let's Play Dark Souls 2. In the last part, we defeated the last giant here in the Forest of Fallen Giants and now we're going to go for a weapon. Now, please do excuse me. I am not used to being a strength build. My melee builds are normally dex builds, so this is not going to be too pretty of a let's play here and there. You guys are going to have to help me out along the way. But I believe the sword I'm going to be starting out with is going to be the Bastard Sword. I think it's a pretty solid start. Uh, the only weapons I really used in the past when I did kind of a strength build was like the Claymore and stuff. And, well, even if I was, was going to use the Claymore, it's not for a while from now. It's like, I believe, in Vingar, which is Shaded Woods. And, no, no, we can't until we get a Fragrant Branch of Yours. I was going to say we technically could go do that, but I was like... Oh, wait, we can't backstab these guys because they roll on us. See, like, I do no damage. This is why I don't want to use this weapon. And, of course, another one's going to come at me. I might throw in some Pyromancy with the strength build, though. Just to give me a little edge here and there. And, of course, I get hit in the back. And, you know what? I'm just going to run past these guys. I'm really coming only for this weapon. And I believe I know where it is. I hope. <laughs> it would be fun if I was going the wrong way the entire time. Alright. I thought I heard an enemy come from behind me. Okay. So I believe it is in here. Sorry about that. I had to fix something. It was like a high-pitched squealing noise in my ear. And I really hope you guys didn't hear that. And there we go. We have the Bastard Sword. And I'm probably gonna die in the midst of getting it. No, I probably I'll be fine. If I had a homeward bone, it'd be a little easier, but I do not. Okay, so now we're gonna go back, and I actually I already opened up the gate or the area for the blacksmith because we bought the key from the uh for or the not the majula, this world force of fallen giants merchant. I can never remember her name. I starts with an M. I'm pretty sure. Because, I, I mean, it's not really used. Technically, you can get a 99 or infinite life gem from her, so she is beneficial. But I just don't, I don't use her that much. And, well, yeah, she is beneficial because when you kill uh, NPCs, you come to her to buy the armor. So, yeah. And we already exhausted our dialogue, I thought. You're a stranger to this land. Oh, we get as strange as these days. Everybody's going and run off. <laughs> Drang Lake's been a pile of rubble since the war, thought long, long ago. And the giants crossed the sea. Seemed like the battles would never end. Poor folk like myself have nary a place to sleep. Keep all me things right with me. You may travel light, but me thinks you bear a burden of your own. <laughs> they say these trees grew from the remains of the giants. From each carcass sprouted new life growing into what you see now. Do you hear what they all say, say? Don't believe what an old hag says. <laughs> it's high time that I pick up a move. I've a bargain for you next time we meet my lover. Alright, so my bad about skipping that first line. I already thought we already did that and exhausted our dialogue, but I guess not. And some people might be saying, why are you not going and fighting the Pursuer? Well, technically the Pursuer is a harder boss fight for me than Hades Tower of Flame, the Dragon Slayer, and the Dragon Rider. So that being said, I'm going to go ahead and take on that world, get my little Bastard Sword upgrade a little bit, and then we'll come back for him. I already made a guide for him where you could, like, uh, parry him and shoot the bolts at him, but what people didn't know is it took me a few tries and stuff or like five tries i don't know how many times it took me and i don't want to just be continually doing it and i probably got a little lucky though but yeah so i went ahead and opened up this door and speaking of which what do we need to 
wield this because I pro Okay, yeah, we need 20 strength and 11 dexterity. Are we even gonna be able to upgrade? Yeah, we should upgrade. Look <laughs> what it's upgrading. Level up. And we'll see how much we can do there. Okay, do we need 20? Oh yeah, but we're gonna be low. Yeah, that's literally everything. And I wanted to get my endurance and stuff up, but this is gonna be okay. Like I said, Hades Tower of Flame isn't gonna be too bad for us. And now that I'm, we don't have any souls, really, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to upgrade this. Okay. The name and you, a man. And I him. just skipped his dialogue. Oh. Great. I'm sorry. Goodness gracious. I'm used to just doing guides on this game now rather than let's playing. And I always skip stuff on the guides. Okay, we can, we can do it once. I mean, that's, all right. that's the only Titan Age we have. And we can buy it from him. Technically, we'll be able to buy an infinite amount later from the Stone Trader in Harvest Valley. But for now, that's good enough. All right, let's go ahead and move on. So we're doing a little bit more damage, and tell me what you guys think I should use as a strong weapon or strength, because a lot of you guys are probably more well, I don't know, equipped, no knowledge of the game, and we're gonna have some interesting lore with this person here later. There's, pers there's a person gonna be there later. And I personally don't even know all of it, but it's really cool. Or, there's a lot of cool lore in the Dark Souls series. I know a little bit more in this one because I actually did a lot on YouTube than my last one. And a lot of people have been saying, well, I remember reading a couple comments like, why are these so short and why do they come out so late? And the reason is I can't make the video just so long. I know a lot like Epic Name Bro has like 40 minute videos. That would literally take me like 18 hours to upload. And I can't do that because then no one really can use the internet at my house and it's just I just literally can't make them that long I'm literally trying to get to a place or move to like a friend's place and like pay a little rent to like be able to have good internet there but so like videos would normally take me like 10 minutes to upload there compared to like six or seven hours right now and as you can imagine be doing YouTube that is quite annoying. I actually remember seeing a YouTuber, he's actually a Call of Duty commentator, uh, T. Martin uh, tweet out a picture, and it was his internet, or like speed, I don't know how I, how I got hit by that, at his like new office or something. He's like, it's pretty good. It was literally like 200 upload speed or something like that. That is insane. I would die for that. I have 0.6. I don't even have one. So it, it's very frustrating, so I can't make the videos too long, and it's just kind of hard to get them out there. And the time, or being occupied by family and stuff like that. It gets, you know, it gets out there, because it's, well, you know, I'm just, I don't want to make the whole video about me just letting you guys, I just want to let you guys know that I'm trying to get them out there to you guys. Like, it's literally 2 a.m. right now, but it's like the first time I've had time to really record today. I've been gone all day. But I knew I needed to get a video up for you guys, and I wanted to play some Dark Souls. I literally, I'm, like, I literally, like, miss, gr like, playing this game. I played it a ton when it first came out. Like, I literally did not stop playing it, and now I just haven't been playing it at all. And, wow, I rolled way too early. This guy, don't, he doesn't respawn, I don't think. I'm gonna die to him. No, I'm gonna be good. The main thing I'm gonna try to do right now is not even take on Dragon Slayer. I'm going to do the Dragon Rider first, even though it's probably out of order. But you have to pull the stinking chains on the... Sh and it's kind of annoying to do, so it's going to take a while. That's all I'm focusing on now. I'm going to come back to the bonfire and, like, heal up, and he dropped something good. A shard, I think. No, sublime... Yeah, bone dust. That's right. I knew he had to do something with health. If you don't know what a sublime... I probably said it wrong. Bone dust does. It reinforces your S's flask to, like, be plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. And what's really funny is I literally went through the entire of my first run not using those. Like, I had them. I just didn't know what they did. I remember seeing other YouTubers, like, doing guides of their own. And I'm like, how do they have a plus whatever on their S's flask? You, you just, when you level up, you just get more of them, not a plus. Oh, crap. I was so confused on how people were doing that. Later on, I found out because of a comment. 
People were like, why are you not upgrading your S Splash? Because, like, I don't know how. And when you kill these guys, these things will magically appear. And we need three of them total. We need this one. It's going to add on. We technically don't need this next one, but I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway. A little bit for the souls. We need to kill all three of these, so it's a little bit, a little bit more difficult to do than the last one. This guy's not. I mean, these guys die. This guy dies faster, but you know, I don't know if I roll way too early. But he's e enemies in this game are just easily kill, um, easily to kill, or easy to kill before they start ganking up on you. That's why magic becomes so in handy because you can keep distance with great power. That's why my worst thing in this in these games in general are multiple boss enemies at once. Like Ornstein and Smoke and uh, the Ruined Sentinels. Like I that's the only boss I've had a, I had trouble with this entire game, but it took me like 5 hours to beat them and I was literally trying to grind guys at the time. So that you can imagine that is frustrating. I don't even know why I'm technically dual handing this, but I'll, it doesn't matter. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and make my way to put that other switch down because I don't want to have to like come back later with S's flask, waste them. I just want to be able to run straight through. And not to mention, we get a really good ring down here that helps us if we become hollow. But hopefully, we won't we won't be becoming hollow too much in this let's play, even though I'm not amazing at this game I can't wait to see what you guys see me try to PvP like live like if I upload a PvP on my channel yeah it's gonna make me look like kind of good or something but <laughs> that's only because it took me 50 tries to finally get a good gameplay for you guys in general I literally suck at PvP oh way too early like I love watching some of the like what's his name like oh crap I thought I had more endurance. Or with a ninja and stuff, people like that. And they're like so good at PvPing. I don't know all their names. I think one's like Yubos the Legend or something like that. Legion. That's the main one I've watched. Because he's just he's just hilarious to me. And one of the things that's really annoying in like New Game Plus right here, you get to fight two phantoms. It's so frustrating. Wish I like I literally just want to sit here and shoot some soul rogues at him. I'm too used to it. I've became spoiled with using magic that makes these games so much easier. I still don't think this game's hard though compared to Dark Souls 1. The main thing I think they did a lot better in this game is online. Not saying like there isn't lag because there definitely is, at least for me, but they did really well with connecting the matches. I remember trying to PvP in Dark Souls 1, and this is for me personally. It literally would take probably, like, two hours to find, like, just a couple of matches. And they would be so laggy. Like, I mean, invading. I don't mean, like, red soapstone where people would summon me. I mean, literally, like, using a cracked red eye orb and invading somebody. I could not do it, no matter how hard I tried. It's so frustrating. So that's one thing I really think they did a lot better in this game. Hopefully just they continue to make them and it continues to get better with new... Uh, I really am, you know, kind of sad they didn't put it on new gen. Uh, so apparently like, the, PC, the PC is like so much better. And I do actually have two gaming PCs, a desktop and a laptop. So I probably need to check that out. And I actually have probably a lot of friends that would be like, Yes, you need to, because a lot of them play the PC one. My phone will not stop vibrating. Literally text and tweets to keep vibrating so you know without further ado be sure to check me out on twitter <laughs> you're not a gamer 101 same as you this so hard to find i know i think it's funny when people like comment it's like what's your twitter what's your what's your skype i'm like united gamer 101 i know that, that was so hard right not to mention it's in my banner or whatever on my page okay but now Without further ado, we are going to go take on this boss. And you can summon an NPC, but since it isn't across a storyline, I'm going to take on this boss solely. So I don't, you know, make a boss that's easy, easier. Even though I probably will end up dying somehow. Let's come over here and get this. They're probably chasing me. All it does is just, like, help your stamina. But 
right over here. People were like freaking out how they don't see a summon sign when I did a video on this boss. And I, I'm just like, it's right outside the door. I don't know how people aren't seeing that. Either they're blind or their game is broken. Which, Souls games are known for glitches. I should probably go get like the Drain Lake Shield after this or eventually from the Pursuer. Literally, you should just like hug this guy's side and it's pretty self-explanatory and easy. All right, so we're doing 138 one-handed. 166, so it's really not that much different. Oh, he got me. I don't even know what armor I'm literally wearing. I was almost gonna go for three hits too. Let's go, Dragon Rider, what are you gonna do? And my nose itches and it's a bad time. I feel like I gotta sneeze. <laughs> this is really bad timing. Okay. Oh, he stumbled. And then I got greedy. I got away with it, kinda. I mean, I got he got a hit on me, but. I think that's one of the main things. I mean, I know I messed up right there with the dodge. That's one of the main things that people uh, fail in Souls game if they are new. Because, I mean, I sucked when I first played, personally. The Demon Souls, I was awful. But I think one of the main thing people mess up with is they try to heal when their boss is literally about to come at them again. Like, make him miss one more time. Like, if I wanted to heal right now, I, w I wouldn't just heal like right in the open right here because he would swing. Get him to swing, come back to his back, and then heal. Like, don't just heal flat out in the open. It's got, I, like, I really like my setup. This is kind of random for uh, gaming and recording, but it's kind of annoying because I can't hear game sound. It's pretty frustrating. Okay, I'll finish. I shouldn't even get hit by that boss. That boss is so easy. Let's go. So when you come back here, uh, come back here. You will find a bonfire. You can continue to a new world or go back or do a lot of things. Technically, this next world literally isn't back required. You can easily miss it. It's no man's wharf, but I really recommend checking that world out. We will be going to that after we fight two bosses probably in the next part, guys. We'll be fighting the Dragon Slayer, the old Dragon Slayer, not to mention from the old games, as well as the Pursuer. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to hit that like button. Go ahead. You know, and subscribe, follow me on Twitter, comment if you have any questions or suggestions on weapons and armors for my strength build. Thank you guys so much for watching. This has been Unite Gamer 101 here, and I'll see you guys later.